Welcome to Wild Left Religion with Coach Renz. So I was asked the other day, was Yeshua an apocalyptic preacher? My answer was yes. Let me tell you why. Yeshua was an apocalyptic preacher because he believed, just as many others, that the world would end within his lifetime. Am I saying that he's Jim Jones completely? No, he wasn't telling you to go out and drink pour the Kool-Aid. But he believed that the world would end during his time frame, just like Jim Jones did. Was he a David Koresh? I'm not saying that he was trying to arm the people and say, let's go kill everybody. But he believed that the world would end just like Jim, just like David Koresh did during his lifetime. Just like Miss um, White, who began the Seven Day Adventist. They believed that the world would end within their lifetime. And just like in the Seven Day Adventist, when White's prophecies and predictions didn't happen within her lifetime, her writings, her, her, her vision had to be redacted so that the religion can continue. It had, had to be changed. The understanding had to be changed. You see, when you look at the writings that actually go to Jesus, what you have to look at is one that he, he said that this generation will not pass before God comes back and judge the world. But it didn't happen during his lifetime. So in doing so, the redactors changed it later on in the 300s and 400s, 500s until they canonized the Bible until all the gospels were complete because only Mark was the most complete text that was had. Everything else was extrapolated and maybe the QL, possibly the Gospel of Thomas, was utilized to finish, finalize what the gospels were about. You see, if Yeshua was not an apocalyptic preacher, then he would have taught more about morality of this civilization living longer than his lifetime. You see, if he was, he would have taught that women should be equal to men. But instead, he did not. He did not change the morality of the people under the Roman Empire during that time frame because women weren't equal to men. He would say that women can own property, but he did not change that. Most importantly, and the biggest one of all, he would have outlawed slavery. He would have said that something to the effect that no man should own another man. And it shouldn't be something that you have to sift through and figure out and come to your own thought process and diving between the lines. It would have been straightforward. Just like thou shalt not kill, straightforward. Thou shalt not steal, straightforward. But instead he taught that all can receive the kingdom of God, whether you are free or bond. But if he truly was God, he would have known that life would continue to extend beyond his lifetime and therefore outlaw slavery so that we have a more moral system. We are more moral today than they were back then, more moral than he was. He was an apocalyptic preacher because he thought everything was going to end.